Hi Aries, this is Nayla Latrice and I am here to do your um, weekly read for the last week of October. Yes, I'm really, really excited. We have the um, Hunter's Full Moon that will be here this Saturday on Halloween. It is all about releasing and letting go of everything. I mean, we are really transitioning and going into a completely different season, a completely different cycle. We are in Scorpio season. So let me tell you, it is time to start writing down what you know, what you no longer want in your life, what has been in your life for too long, getting rid of um, material things that are in your life that has just been sitting in your closet or sitting around your garage or whatever the case may be for way too long. OK, as I was meditating on your energy, I heard the words workaholic and gym, maybe gym rat. So maybe some of you guys are just working really, really um, hard right now in this season and also um, um, you guys are also working out um, your bodies and making sure that you guys are um, building strong bodies and strong bodies are strong minds. So that is the goal to have a strong mind. So we are going to see what messages are going to come out. I want to do what is coming towards you. So let's see what is coming towards you. So we have the three of cups. Yes. That wanted to come on out, so I'm going to let it come out. King of Cups, we have all water here. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, and um, Cancer energy. What is coming towards Aries? Definitely may be dealing with the water sign. What is coming towards Aries, Spirit? What is coming towards Aries? Okay, Empress and the Four of Wands. So, and we have judgment at the end of the deck or at the bottom of the deck. What I'm, what I am picking up with for you guys is that you guys are just celebrating right now. You guys are having a really good time or this is what is going to be coming towards you. So if you guys were in a stuck energy, do know that is coming to an end very, very closely. Um, probably by the end of this week, as you again begin to release the things that have not been serving you. So with this three of cups, I feel you are going to be connecting with friends or you need to connect with friends. Go out for some drinks, have fun, um, begin to to have a social life. I feel some of you guys may be working too much where you guys do not have a social life. And Spirit is telling you that you guys need to connect with other people outside of work. You need to um, connect with your friends, check up on them, see how they are doing. I um, mean, just have fun. I'm hearing let your hair down. So just let your hair down, have fun. Even if you're a guy, you know, um, it's just a, the term to say, go out and have fun. Um, King of Cups, there is somebody that is in your energy who is strong willed, who has their emotions under control. But I feel like there is somebody, this water sign that wants to come towards you. I feel they want to, they have their eye on you. They're, they're focused on you. And I feel, um, they really want to connect with you and talk to you. So it could be this King of Cups that you're going to be, um, going out with and hanging out with. Mm hmm. And then we have this Empress energy. Again, this could be Emperor energy as well. This King of Cups can be Queen of Cups as well. Um, but you're attracting love. I feel like you're in the energy of where you have a lot of self-love for yourself and you've been focused on yourself lately. And I feel like you are attracting um, that into your life with this Empress energy. You guys are single mothers. Some of you are single fathers. Um, also, I feel like you guys are really the reason you guys are working so hard is because you guys are focused on building a bunch and building wealth for your family. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing chakra. So I feel like you guys need to align your chakras and make sure that you guys are um, fully aligned to be able to manifest what it is that you desire. You guys are really focused on your home life. Some of you guys may be getting married or maybe desiring marriage at this time as well. But I do see or feel that there is some type of partnership that is going to be happening for you. I'm hearing city takeover, take over the city. So you and this person may be um, ready to take over the city. This connection, you guys may feel like um, you guys are like Beyonce and Jay type um, energy. Like you guys just feel like you guys can take over the world. But I do feel that things are really, really going well for you. And again, if you don't feel this energy yet, it is clearing out for you now. It's clearing out for you 
this week with the judgment card here and with the um, ten of swords here. We have the ten of swords down at the bottom of the deck twice. So you guys have recently ended some type of situation or you guys need to put an end to some type of situation immediately. I'm feeling that this is needs to be done now. Um, but I feel like you are making some type of judgment call. You guys are waking up to um, some type of decision. It's kind of like an aha moment and you're realizing, okay, yep, I need to let this person go. I need to let this situation go. I need to let these things go. Um, it could be your mindset as well. And spirit is also guiding you and helping you with this. Your spirit guides, your ancestors, your angels, they're applauding you. Um, they're, they're happy because you are now getting the pictures almost like they've been trying to send you signs and signals and you guys have not been picking up on them or you guys have, but you just weren't doing anything with it. And spirit is telling you to take action. And I feel like you're finally taking action and this is them applauding you. So let's dive deeper into why this King of Cups is here. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody you could have re recently, um, this is somebody that you could have recently let go or cut off um, for sure. Um, with this five of pentacles, they feel like you have left them out and they're watching you. They're keeping an eye on you and they want to come back around and they want to express to you how they feel. I feel like this person wants to get back in a relationship with you. They have a lot of emotions for you, but I feel like they're not telling you how they feel. They're keeping their emotions locked up. They're keeping their emotions to themselves, but it doesn't mean that they don't feel it. I do feel that they feel, um, they feel like you wronged them by cutting them off. Almost as if they feel they didn't do anything wrong. I know you guys are probably like yelling at the screen like, how did that MF think that they didn't do anything wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, they really do want to be with you. And uh, they they don't like that they were cut off. And they want to come back and express how they feel. Because I feel this person was not expressing to you how they felt while you guys were in this relationship. They're checking your social media page. Um, they're just, they're just kind of keeping tabs on you. Um, I'm hearing they could be sitting outside your home or driving by your home, that type of thing as well. If you guys are in the same physical area um, as well, but they're, they're kind of really studying you and um, I'm here and explore. So they may want to explore you. They may want to explore your body. Um, they may want to go to They may want to go exploring with you or travel with you. We have temperance at the bottom of the deck. So I feel that spirit is telling you to just be patient. Allow this situation and this energy to just clear out. If this is a person that you do not want in your life, that's fine. You don't have to take them back. Make sure that you're doing everything that you can to make sure that you are releasing them on your part so they can be uh, released. Spirit, why is the empress here? Why is the empress here? Again, you guys, you guys aren't playing any games. And because of that, we have the Ace of Wands at the end of the, at the bottom. I keep saying the end of it. Um, but at the bottom of the deck as well. But for this Empress energy, again, you've cut this person off. You've cut them off. They don't like it. Mm -hmm. And I feel you're just chilling. You're good. It didn't hurt you. It may have kind, kind of like um, when you tell your kids, if you have children and you've had to punish them and you say, this is going to hurt me more than it hurts you type of thing. But in reality, you're not the one feeling the physical pain, even though you feel the emotional pain of having to let them go. I feel like they may have done you wrong. Again, we saw I saw the 10 of swords twice at the bottom of the deck and then it comes out again. So you guys are definitely ending something. And that could also be why you guys are working a lot. You guys are just putting all your time and your energy into your work instead of into the situation to keep your mind occupied. And that is also why spirit is telling you, you need to go out and be social. You need to go hang out with some friends to further help get your mind off of this and release it. I'm hearing know your worth. So let go of this person. Go out, hang out with your friends. There's a new life coming for you. There's a new beginning that is happening for many of us. And therefore, you need to um, you need to get ahead of this new energy. So it's already here, but you need to be proactive is what I'm getting at and make sure that you are doing your part as well. And then we have this new energy that is coming in for you. Like I said, this Ace of Wands. So there is some type of new opportunity that will be here for you. Um, it could be in work as well, but this is somebody or something that is um, going to change things around for you. This is something that is very passionate. This is something that is um, going to light up your world. So it has many opportunities attached to it as well. You see how there's all of these um 
these leaves that are falling off. So it's going to be an abundant opportunity that is here for you, Aries. This is your this is you. This is the fire right here. So I do feel like whatever you have been working on, it has created many opportunities for you. So keep going, keep working, but also just don't forget to spend time with your friends and don't just work to cover up your um your feelings. Make sure that you are dealing with your feelings properly. That way you can truly heal properly. But again, I feel like this person has um, hurt you so much or you're just over the situation where it was kind of painful at first, but you're realizing why am I hurt? This person hurt me. So they should be the ones that are hurt, not you, you know, so I am going to leave your read there, Aries. I hope I have said something that has resonated with you. Make sure you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and also hit the subscribe button. If you are new, welcome, welcome to the channel. I thank you for being a part and watching and make sure you come back for more reads. And until next time, bye.